Before the beginning, there was just God. Beyond time, beyond space, with no beginning and no end. He had everything except who to share it with. So God decides to make space for something else. He has to contract his endless light within itself and create a vacuum where otherness can exist. This process of contraction is called symptom. He then allows his infinite light to re-enter the void in a controlled form and repeats this process many times, getting progressively less potent. The goal of this process is to come to a point where God's presence isn't overwhelming, where God can re-enter the void as something else, where God can re-enter as us. The purpose of this process is for God to have a relationship with us here in this world. This series is based on the Tanya written by the Alter Rebbe, Rabbi Schneir Zalman. He teaches that God is one, meaning that there is really nothing else here except God. All the galaxies, planets, animals and plants are all different forms of godly energy. How does that work? God creates reality by radiating energy. But his energy is beyond too big to be contained by physical matter. So in order for God to create physicality, he first needs to condense his energy down into a more containable form. Imagine electricity. You have a turbine under Niagara Falls harnessing tons of water and turning it into electrical energy. But the voltage is too high. So when the electricity comes into your city, it first needs to go through a transformer to lower the voltage so that it doesn't blow out the power lines. This process gets repeated once the power comes to your neighborhood, again on your street, and once more in your home on the electrical panel. Now it's safe to charge your phone. Try charging your phone directly under Niagara Falls. Not such a great idea. We need power to go through transformers to be lowered for it to be safely used. The same thing applies with God's energy. It is infinitely too powerful at the source to be safely contained by physical creatures. God first needs to transform his power down through the process of symptom, a contraction of energy, so to speak. And not once, but many times, just like we saw by the power grid. So how does God transform his energy down to where it can be safely used? Stay tuned to find out on the next videos. If you'd like to take a deeper dive, make sure to visit TorahVisuals.com for more exciting content and media. Thanks.